the dogs. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're eating the cats. The Trump cat dog meme has become a cultural phenomenon if you haven't noticed by now. But of course, it has broken America into two camps. Those who believe that the Haitian immigrants are attacking and eating the pets in Springfield, Ohio, and those who believe it's all fake news. Now guess which side Joe Scarborough comes down on. So of course we're going to show some interesting clips and then I'm going to offer irrefutable evidence as to why the illegal immigrants are devouring our pets in Springfield, Ohio. But before we continue, please like and comment on the video so we can break through the algorithms. Here we go. Former President Trump, who held a rally on Long Island, New York yesterday, where he continued to push lies about Haitian migrants in Springfield, Ohio, just flagrant lies out loud. Trump told the crowd he plans to travel soon to Springfield, as well as to Aurora, Colorado. Take a listen to some of his remarks. How about in Springfield, Ohio? They had... 32,000, this is a little beautiful town, no crime, no problem, 32,000 illegal immigrants come into the town, 32. So they almost doubled their population in a period of a few weeks, can you believe it? And you know what? They've got to get much tougher. I'm going to go there in the next two weeks. I'm going to Springfield and I'm going to Aurora. You may never see me again, but that's okay. Got to do what I got to do. Whatever happened to Trump? Well, he never got out of Springfield. That's just so, not uh, um, uh, Here's the Wall Street Journal, front page. I told the uh, pet eating story was untrue. Trump team spread it anyway. Yeah. That's the uh, front page of the Wall Street Journal. And we have and, the reporter and, on. And, and, and the subhead here is Springfield, Ohio officials informed Vance's staff that rumors were baseless. It did not matter. And now the town is in chaos. Joining us now, national reporter at The Wall Street Journal, Valerie Borline. She has new reporting, as Joe said, on the Trump campaign, that they were told the rumors from Springfield were not true, but still pushed them. So um, if you could bring us inside this lie, um, what, what's shocking to me is that it continues um, with wild abandon, with no shame. Um, and is it the press is annoyed? Is it that people are annoyed? Wait, is, 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 yeah, she reported on the story. So what, you know. I, I you wonder know. what is uh, inside what? your reporting in terms yeah. of how this all came to be. Well, we, we just heard the former president say that there are 32,000 um, migrants in in Springfield and, you know, Governor DeWine and the mayor there says, actually, there are 15,000 Haitians that have moved there in the last four years legally, almost all of them legally, because, as we know, there's been a massive humanitarian crisis in Haiti. And actually, they've been welcomed to what we found was they've been welcomed to Springfield with open arms. There was a real labor crunch like so many places during the pandemic. And so the Haitians have been this community of Haitians have been in the small town of, you know, about 60,000 people. It has created a lot of pressure in the community, with, as it would with a lot of new people. But we just found no truth to the idea that that they're there illegally or that there's any issues around the community. Um, you know, eating people's pets, which is really um, right. a very serious claim to make. So the reason the left hates this story is because it shines a light on the failures of the Biden-Harris immigration policy. They have shipped in thousands upon thousands. And of course, up to this point, we've heard it's 20,000. Trump said 30,000. And the reporter here just says 15,000. Well, which number is accurate? Where do we go to to get the correct information? And of course, they're saying this is all totally false, right? We have vetted this story. We are correct. Yeah, because the left has never lied about anything in the past, right? We haven't had 50 intelligence officials sign off on certain documents being true, right? This stuff just doesn't happen. So we're totally going to believe their take on this above anyone else. And notice how she throws in that the community is welcoming them with open arms because they needed workers because of the pandemic. Yeah. What happened to all the workers in that town? Was everything forced into shutdown so that everyone lost their jobs and now you're replacing them with low wage workers from other countries? Hmm. That doesn't sound like make America great again to me. That sounds like Biden Harris strikes again. But the problem with their whole narrative is that there's actually actual evidence of, yes, pets disappearing, being eaten in Springfield, Ohio. Check out this story. The owner of this cat tells News for Jax Ashy was attacked and killed on her front steps and then taken Saturday night 
This happened on Red Wing Street near Maine. This comes as Springfield neighbors say several cats have gone missing recently. News for Jack's reporter Eric Avanier spoke to one witness, and we want to warn you, the details are disturbing. Multiple incidents of in and outdoor cats coming up missing have one thing in common. They're disappearing overnight. A neighbor who witnessed the latest incident says he pulled out his cell phone and recorded something he could not believe. Saturday night around 11, a suspect described as a skinny man believed to be in his mid to early 30s with a thin mustache wearing all black clothing and black boots was seen attacking a family's cat named Ashy. Carlos Spencer witnessed the incident while sitting in his car across the street. He says Ashy was sitting on her owner's front steps when the man first walked past the home and placed a white tarp on the ground. And he came back and started coaxing the cat, like, you know, communicating with the cat. And once he put his hand up, he just grabbed it quickly took it down, walked it over here, and just kneeled on top of it. Spencer says that's when he took out his cell phone and started recording video of the man attacking the cat. I was able to film him, bound the cat some kind of way, and put it in a plastic tarp and walk. So despite hundreds of local residents coming forward and saying, hey, we have this problem, we have witnessed it, we have seen it, despite people complaining to city council members and them just being shooed off as if it's all some type of elaborate hoax, and despite local news crews going out and responding to specific incidents, people still want to call this a hoax, call it fake, which of course is completely ridiculous at this point. It's denialism, right? Something strange is happening in Springfield. Do we know how widespread the problem is and how long it's been going on? I don't know, because we're not doing any official investigations because it's basically us versus them in this scenario. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay safe out there, people, because they're coming after you.